All right, it's not time for that yet. We gotta do this first. So what I got here is a stainless manifold flange. I got it online. I'll uh, put the website in the description because I can't exactly remember it, but it's a very nicely done piece. Must be laser cut. Um, but yeah, so I got that. I ended up going stainless because it was more available, which was weird to me. But so I got the header flange, the manifold flange, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so I took this piece of 4x4 four four tubing that we have an abundance of at the shop, and I just drilled and tapped holes in it to try and hold this flat. I'm, I don't really want to machine it when I get done. Then I got online, and I got six of these long radius uh, inch and a half schedule 40 elbows. And then uh, what I've done is I've put them in the press, and I kind of oval them to match that hole a little better. Also got two feet of just straight inch and a half. Um, yeah, so I got six. These will be the turnouts to go to the to the T4 flange. So was originally going to go all mild steel, but a lot of the stuff was out of stock, or they would have the long radius, or they would have the short radius, but not the long radius, or yeah, it was a mess. So ended up I could get everything stainless. The only thing that I forgot to get is a wastegate uh, flange, but uh, we'll do that later. So I just have to think about it while I'm building this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start tacking some elbows on and get some measurements. All right, so I've got the end pieces on because those are, I would argue, the easiest. And now I want to do these next elbows. So what I've marked here is not very good, but what I'm trying to do is cut through the back as if I had a hole saw and just went through the front. Obviously I don't have, I don't have a hole saw that beefy. So yeah, we're gonna try to do this. I don't think it should be too bad. Nah, I'll just take less than I think I need. I can always die grind it out. Uh, if any of you guys have ever built a manifold before, you know they don't give these elbows away. So I only bought how many I needed. And so I'd rather uh, take my time grinding out a few times than take too much cut and uh, ruin one. All right, so I got my piece cut. It's extremely hot. But I do think I did all right. We'll have to see. So I did get it level and measured the angle that I cut it at. And I'm going to cut my piece of straight pipe that goes between these two. And then hopefully that all matches up. And So that seemed to work out all right. I've got a little of a, bit of a gap. I can uh, play around with the movement. i got quite a bit of a gap in there, but I'm pretty sure I can fill that. So yeah, I'm gonna weld that together and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So I got both of my sides welded and uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, now I just have to figure out how to make the merge collector, basically. Need to figure out how to incorporate that into it. Uh, I can't incorporate it yet because I have to get the position right. So I'll have to bolt this onto the truck and turn it and see where I want my turbo. But yeah, it's not too bad. Um, so I'm gonna have two elbows that turn out, and I'm gonna have to like cut a section out of each of them and weld them together, and then the middle have a full one foot piece left, but I'll be able to cut small uh, chunks to go there. That'll tie into it. So I don't need, I mean, you couldn't fit elbows in that, but, um, but yeah. So now I just need to figure this out. I think I've got it figured out. So I've taken my last two elbows and I've cut them like this. So they fit inside of there. Be a little bit of a gap in the middle. Oh, but I think that's going to work, and then I can 
I'll just have to figure out there will be a little little piece of pipe that has to go in there and then I'll have to figure these out but that's just a straight pipe it's more figuring out how I have to cut into this than anything so let me get this tacked in there if you can see there's a little bit mess on the corner I think I'm gonna weld like the edges and then maybe try and hammer the corners out a little bit just to get a little better fit um, I'm not, I don't think it's going to make enough of a difference for what I'm trying to do, but I'd like it to fit in there as good as possible. So, I'm going to get this welded together and we'll see where we're at. So, I get this all welded up. It's still very hot, hence the vice grips. I probably warped it a little bit. Might have to do some machining on that. Uh, hammering out the corners didn't work, so I ended up just filling them with weld. Fill in the middle. I had a bit of a gap. I had to make a filler piece to go go around the middle, but it worked out. I feel like I could have cut these pieces down a little bit. If I would have welded these together and then cut them down, I could have got the, uh, it would have just filled the hole a little better, I think. And it would have had a little more, a little more of an opening. I got to get in here and clean this up with the uh, with the die grinder. But so I uh, I also been able to hold this up just enough to get my pieces measured for those little pipes. Uh, I still have to figure out the center cylinders, but I kind of need to know what angle this is going to be at. So uh, what I'm gonna do is take this off of this pipe and take it home. Bolt this piece on the engine bolt the turbo to this piece and figure out where I need to be and then mark it and then I'll come back and I'll tack that in place get these pieces cut and figure out the easiest way because I don't I don't think straight out it's gonna work I want to tilt it in a little bit but then I you're just adding to the to the angle that you have to cut. So, yeah, before I even cut this piece, I want to know where this piece has got to go. And then, uh, yeah, we should be good to get everything tacked together and crack this off and finish weld it all in here. And then uh, finish weld it onto the flange. And it should be pretty good. All right, so here I am. I've managed to climb my way up into the engine compartment which isn't very hard on these trucks, but not the smallest of guys. So now I've got the turbo, I've got the housings clocked, I think where I want them. I just want to, I want it relatively high. I want that JDM look, you know? So I think like right there, can I, ooh, I can get my foot under the compressor housing. Crystal. I got a line on the manifold side. So now I know where to weld them. I'll have to take that apart tomorrow and clean it up. I'll probably finish weld the, the outside pieces, but for now it's not too bad. So I'll give you an idea what we're where we are right now. I know I don't have the best light in here, but I'm trying. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm liking it so far. Can't wait to get it done. All right, so I've got my center piece tacked in. Uh, I'm gonna take the grinder and make like a actual cut in line. I'm gonna have to cut this off to cut the holes for these center cylinders out. But yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, I still have some up to do with the die grinder but but for now I want to focus on getting these center pipes done and what I think I'm gonna do is just have these ones come straight out um, just to save myself from having to cut too much of this out and I think it's it's close enough to the outlet that it 
it won't really be too much of a problem. Um, I wanted it to have a little bit of angle, but as you can see, like this side of this outlet is inside of the the turbo inlet. So I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be a lot easier to make those cuts um, if I just have it coming straight out. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've put a couple of little marks on here of just the heights that I need. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to try to get that cut out. I wish I had a notcher, but I do not. So I'm going to get working on these center pieces, and I'll be back when I think I've got them. So I think I just got very lucky with my cuts. Never mind that gap I got to fill. But yeah, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. I mean, they look pretty nasty, but you're going to fill a lot of gaps as well anyways. So. But yeah, I just cut them to the height, and then I, this height was right, and I just had to tr keep trimming this one down until it uh, slides right in there. And then I uh, gave them a little squish. I like it. I think it'll work. So now I'm going to tack this and trace around here and then cut just inside of the trace. So uh, I don't want to lip into this piece, but I don't want to create a bigger gap for me to fill. All right, so I got this piece looking pretty good. Not too bad. What I am finding with these stainless pieces is uh, a flap disc works a little better for taking material out than a, like a carbide bit. So I'll get that in there. If I can get mine back up. Yeah, it doesn't do too bad. It doesn't look terrible in there. So. So yeah, I think I'm gonna weld her up and then uh, I'll have to take these, all the tacks off, and pull it off and finish welding the bottom. And we should be good to go. Got her all done, got her all welded together. 110% sure that I welded it too fast, but uh, yeah, you know, that happens. We'll deal with it later. I know I warped this flange, so I'll have to do some cleanup grinding on it. Um, probably have to clean up the whole thing. Uh, probably wire brush it. I need one of those little magic wand things that takes the color out of uh, stainless, but. It's not the prettiest thing, but I think it'll work for what we're doing with it. So now I'm just excited. I'm gonna go run home and uh, slap it on the truck, see what it looks like. So I went ahead and got it mounted in here in the engine. And let me tell you, that is a spicy meatball. And also, I'm gonna have to do something with the power steering reservoir. That, it just ruins it. It just ruins the whole thing. But it shouldn't be too bad. I don't think, so it looks like it just goes in there, so maybe I could thread that and then just mount like a reservoir over there. Shouldn't be too bad. I am really liking it. It's keeping the motivation up to just make poor financial decisions. And so, yeah, I'm pumped. I gotta get my oil feed and oil drain all set up for that and uh, it did warp when I welded it. I knew I welded it too fast, but I'll have to track down a mill and get it milled back out. It's not too bad, but it's it's noticeable. And I don't really want to have to have those bolts on in the block pull any harder than they have to. But yeah, it's looking good. Uh, 
got everything pointed the way I want it. I should have a 90 there. And then these square bodies have these neat little punch outs that uh, yeah, should work pretty good for putting an intercooler up front. I'm also 94% sure that uh, I'm going to build an intake for this. Just because I just think it'll look cool. I'm going to have to redo the brake lines. I had to do that anyways, but just give it a little more space. And then I should be able to make like the throttle body line up with this hole out here. I just think the uh, stock one's gonna look a little out of place with the whole setup. Next thing I should do is start working on the wire harness. Probably gonna run it into that same hole that the old one came out of. Uh, I still have the grommet for that, so it'll work out pretty good. And it can run out of that and just run up next to the coils. Uh, kind of where the factory one ran, and then it split on the front and went side to side, and I, I think that'll still work pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's just little stuff. I still gotta. Here's a grievance I have. Okay, if you have a website that sells parts and I look a part up and it says in stock, and after I order it and I go to check the status of the order, it says temporarily out of stock. You are a bad person. And you should feel bad because you're a liar. Alright, so I ordered a AC delete plate. You know, ordered it, everything, went in a couple days later because I hadn't received, like, a shipping email. Temporarily out of stock. But if I go back to the product page, it says it's in stock. So, probably going to end up having to make my own something. It doesn't look like it would be too terrible to do. But, uh, yeah, that stuff's all kind of ruined in the whole look here, too. So, we get that out, we get the intake built. Oh, cooling solution. Uh, radiators. Actually, aluminum radiators for these trucks are not that bad priced. And if I can get aluminum one, then I can cut the inlet and outlet off and move it to where I want it. Where I need it. And that'll just make this a lot easier. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. i got my eye on one. I really like the looks of. Still waiting on my adapter plate. But we're getting there. We're getting there and I think that it's looking really good. And I'm excited. So if you guys are excited, hit that subscribe button. Maybe leave a like. Leave a comment. Tell me what you're thinking of the build. And I'll see you guys next time.